ten English words ending in less. In English, the suffix less means without. For example, something that is colorless is white or transparent. It has no color. So in today's lesson, you'll learn ten English words that end in less with example sentences, so you can see how they're used. Number one, careless means without care. For example, my sister is very careless with her possessions. She left her laptop on the sofa, and later someone sat on it. The opposite of careless is careful. Number two, doubtless. This means without a doubt. Something that is definitely true. For example, the prices will doubtless go down around Christmas time. There are always holiday discounts. The opposite of doubtless is doubtful. Number three, endless. Endless means without end or very long. For example, I hate going to my aunt's house because then I have to listen to her endless stories about her dogs. We often use the word endless to exaggerate how long something is. As in the example, it doesn't necessarily mean that there is no end. It just means that something is very, very long. Number four, fearless. The word fearless means brave, completely without fear. For example, John loves radical sports like rock climbing and skydiving. He's absolutely fearless. The opposite of fearless is fearful. Number five, helpless. Helpless means unable to help oneself. For example, little babies are so helpless; their mothers need to do everything for them. The opposite of helpless is something like self-sufficient, someone who can take care of themselves. Number six, homeless. The word homeless describes someone who has no place to live. For example, in the city center, there are a lot of homeless people who sleep on the streets. Number seven, hopeless. Hopeless means without hope, without possibility of success. For example, the doctors say it's hopeless; his cancer can't be cured. We usually describe a situation as hopeless. For your own feelings, you should say, "I have no hope," not "I'm hopeless." For the opposite, however, you can say, "I'm hopeful." If you do have hope. Number eight, restless. Restless means agitated, not relaxed. For example. I've been sitting at a computer for the past six hours, and I'm feeling restless. Let's go for a walk. The word restless is not the same as tired. The word tired means you have no energy and you want to go to sleep. The word restless describes a situation where you don't want to stay still. You want to move or change something. You can be restless due to emotions, worries, or simply after a long period of inactivity. Number nine, tasteless, without taste or flavor. For example, the food at that restaurant is cheap, but it's pretty tasteless. The opposite of tasteless is flavorful or tasty. There is the word tasteful, but this is very different. The word "tasteful" refers to decorations or words that are good and appropriate for the situation, but the opposite of "tasteful" is also "tasteless," but used in a different way. In addition to meaning without taste or flavor, the word "tasteless" can mean not appropriate. For example, it would have been a good movie for kids, except it had a completely tasteless sex scene in the middle. Things that are tasteless in the sense of being not appropriate may be vulgar or visually ugly or simply not appropriate for the situation. Number ten, useless, describes something that cannot be used. For example, this brochure is useless. All the information is out of date.
We'll have to call to get the current information. The opposite of useless is useful. So let's review our ten words ending in less. Careless. Doubtless. Endless. Fearless. Helpless. Homeless. Hopeless. Restless. Tasteless. And useless. All of these words end in L-E-S-S. You're learning a lot of vocabulary at Espresso English, but how can you remember the new words? Well, one of the best ways to remember new words is to put them into practice. This means using them in practice exercises as well as trying to create your own example sentences with the new vocabulary words. In the Vocabulary Builder course, each lesson comes with a quiz as well as writing exercises that will help you put the new words into practice. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for the Vocabulary Builder.